Hey, welcome back to another vlog. I've had some time to reflect on what's happened in the last one for the last hour. And I'm not going to take care of the car, service it, or do anything. I'm, we've been looking at someone to interview us properly, and we are going to just put everything into the business right now. Even though the car could break down, it doesn't matter. We have to do everything into this. It's, I'm so tired of people treating us like this. Like we're worthless, like we're nothing. It makes you feel so low inside. And these people, I'm sure, will burn in hell at some point. But right now, the way things are, this is unacceptable. And I'm, I'm tired of this. It's stopped. We're, we're going to be continuing with our business right now. And we're going to make this work now. No matter what we have to do, how much work we have to put in. And it will come above their pet. Their pet will be fed and watered and walked. However, overall, for attention, the business and our lives will get it ahead of any pet. And that's fair. These people, when they see me with a nice sports car having money, then they will start treating me differently and bodyguards around me. I'm sure they'll act uh, very differently. Enough of this, though. I will get things changed. It's time. It's time. Constant problems blocking us. You have to rip through problems or they're never going to let you go do what you need to do. Needed to talk about this real quick. I don't know if this is from the UK or what it is. I couldn't find anything other than this information on the back. I really don't know. But it's horrible inside. I don't know what the hell is wrong with these. She had eaten some of them. And just... She was like, oh, so horrible. I didn't think they'd be that bad. But I realized... They're like burned or something so bitter like earwax or something. There's the ingredients. I don't know why. I don't know if I'll focus. Yeah, I don't know if I'll focus fully, but that, that is horrible. Horrible quality. I'm tired of this and I want to change now. Money, pay off all our debt. We're $60,000 of debt. Get her into the US. Buy a damn golden visa for a million dollars. I don't get a damn. I don't care. I want to invest in crypto. I want to do everything. I want to make money. I want to do everything I can properly. Because I know I can invest in crypto and do things amazingly. I need money to do all this. The time for change is now. And these people, I hope this will be the last person. It's going to be our goal. This will be the last person that ever causes issues. Because I'm so tired of this. We're going to try everything we can to, to make this a reality. This is going to be crazy looking back on these vlogs. After everything is over finally. It really will be. This is truly meaningful in my life. And I always have this to look back on while traveling going through things so glad I've done this which I'll record sooner in Brazil but I didn't so that's all for now and I'll be back sometime in the future update time so um basically this time we went out to go on a walk and I set up the camera as usual to record in the bedroom and while out in the park I saw on right here I feel like we should go it's been some time it's about 30 minutes we need to be heading back I was not feeling good and then I started hearing noises in this house, like someone had come in, opened doors down here, get here. And it was really like, disconcerting. And I said, we need to get back, told you we've been out too long. So uh, we ended up coming back, searched this whole place. There it turns out there's a secret room down at the bottom there, never show us talked about. And someone gave me hiding there doing crap. It's so invasive, I can't even like, just begin to speak. I want to vomit about this. It's so, it's so horrible here. I know I heard doors open. Someone came inside house while we were not here. I could hear that. And that's why I took off the apple tracker on his dog. Because I know he could track us while we're out and communicate to neighbors, his ex-wife, his actual wife. Because she's so close, always like messaging us again today. I'm so busy being able to do any damn crap. With all the editing, the videos, everything I'm trying to do here and get done. They have this deal with running back, trying to get here in time. And, like, we tried different sets of keys. That door won't open. It's just, like, stuck. I don't know what's going on with that. It's definitely a place where it's weird. Always having this so much in first world countries. These secret passageways and, and doors and all this crap. We caught an update cause, uh, at home because we forgot to even do that walking because of, like, how stressed out we were about all this. So, uh, sent an update by like, showing, oh, turn around and uh, lay down and stuff and give him a treat. And sent an update and then sent a picture as well, a cute picture of him, uh, his dog. He ended up, like, not replying to like, still, I think. Let me check for sure. Yeah. As you can see, he, um, he still has not replied at all. There's no update at all about any WhatsApp. <laughs> and he's just, like, replied this month. Correct. He's treating us like we're his children because we're young. This is the most ageist country I've ever seen in my life. And I know that there are also other countries that may could be worse with ageism. But it's like sexism. People fight so much about sexism. Damn, where's the ageism crap? 
I piss off. You are such a piece of trash if your age is treating you or someone worse because they're younger. I, I know you're jealous because you're old and getting fricked up and you can take care of your body especially, but damn, dude, come on. Don't take that on the younger people. Like, they're enjoying their time the same way you enjoyed your time. It's so horrible the way these people are. I can't begin to describe how invasive this feels. Like, I want out of here. So They can just kick you out of their house if it's like any time they want, if I recall, according to the rules. And you cannot do that to them. You have to let them know a lot of time before you leave. Or you're banned off the platform. I think they don't get banned if they just kick you out. It is horrible. It's so horrible. I know I heard someone coming in through the camera. Through, through the audio feed. This is bizarre. I don't even know if they're trying to mess with spices down there do something. Poison you. There is people are freaking crazy psychopathic in first world countries. They're known for like spinning your food, doing all kinds of things. Apparently it's not common in Brazil or these other countries. But here, like in America and the UK, that's why I was so paranoid coming to Brazil. And she kept wondering why I was so paranoid. And apparently it's just not common there like it is here. And it makes more sense with the way people act here. Like the guy in a professional course we were watching, she was telling me. He said, if you, the only way to truly, truly know a country is by working in a community or, or like especially pet sitting. Because then you get inside the country you get to know the neighbors how cultural uh, things are how people act how how the country functions i don't know what's going to happen i just don't feel good here i don't feel i don't feel safe i don't feel like i have privacy i feel invaded constantly samantha's place and now jean's place here with just like the guy in the middle for a few days with cubby that was much better but it's probably a break at all i'm having to work in all these vlogs and i got like 40 something vlogs that is still and it takes um, hours each one. It is a lot of work I'm going through I'm trying to get all this done because it's backed up and I'm just doing everything myself. And uh, on top of it, knowing people are going to try to piss on you and hate you for everything you're saying at the end of it when you upload it finally after all the work. It's just like people are horrible creatures, you know. And it's not like all people. It's like there will be a lot of people who are better and decent. But that's that uh, group of Toxic people are really loud and they, they make themselves look like 90% or more. It's really toxic because good people don't speak up enough in comments and say, No, you're right, you're, you're good, you're doing the right thing and this is how things are okay. That means the country's not good then if it's, how, if it's actually how it is, if you're correct. Like, obviously, uh, only if I'm correct. You can't just always take one person's opinion, but... It definitely is a big red flag when someone like me is talking about all these issues constantly in our country. There's a lot of mold in these places, and that was one of the worst parts about Brazil and the places, but... Oh, uh, this is a nightmare. That next update could very well even be getting kicked out or something, who knows. I guess we're gonna find out in a short time, but... I wouldn't uh, be surprised at anything from these people. You just have stuff in the fridge, very cold stuff, anything... Your crap don't matter. They just kick you out, and you freak, that's it. And I haven't had time to service the car or do anything. And I hate how toxic these people are. Treating us like his kids. Trying to be like, oh, you better not say anything to me. Remember, you're not home. We're here to take a vacation and relax. And look out for your pet while you're on your vacation. She's fed and watered. Maybe walk some if you want. But this is the website. This is like the website. The way to describe it. And not the way this guy is speaking. It's so toxic. He's so toxic. He's just developed a hate for us now. And I know he's going to plan trying to kick us out or do something potentially. Right? He's thinking about just like Samantha. Now whether they'll go through with her or not is another story. Hopefully we can get something done. If I've got an important call with someone tomorrow. 1.30. And uh, if we can accept it for this. We'll hopefully start making thousands of dollars a week. Minimum. Hopefully we can start making a million dollars a year at least. Or like some hundreds of thousands in a month would be amazing as well. Where they're stealing your money constantly and i'm so tired of it we both just are not okay here mentally and we want out of this country we may be going in the next few weeks we'll see here i have about a month until we've been here three months this has just been two months may 25th or so june 25th of july it's like july 24th today i think it's barely not even been two months and we've seen all this in the uk you truly don't need to stay in the country that long to see how things are I just want to add real quick that actually he did message three minutes later and uh, apparently WhatsApp didn't show it so uh, he didn't do that. Looks like he liked a lot because he sent a picture. It's pretty cute and everything so uh, there's that. 
And I, I am just doing this right now, having to record my own videos, <laughs> just to be able to pop them into an editing software, because Xiaomi file fixed it up. Yeah, um, extra work, and then having to make the audio and video online as well, when in the editor, because it got off track for a second and a half or so. And uh, I'll be good when I get to the segments where I actually have the iPhone recording now, because it's actually easier. Truly. Oh, look, I found some fruit. <laughs> it's so weird, um, vlogging about vlogging. Okay, so doing a bit better with things, and it's like, when I have to go do something with him, it's like I can have, I'll basically walk with him in the morning, and I can then go and edit the video. And while it's rendering, like right now, it's rendering out completely, as you can see. It's going to all be done soon here. And while that's going on, then I can go and play ball with him, take him on a second walk, or whatever we're going to do. I could also exercise my arm, throwing the ball, because it really got my right arm good uh, yesterday, left arm today, not as much. Uh, I'm going to do that more tomorrow, hopefully. So I'm getting exercise, doing the job I'm supposed to be done, and I'm working on computer at the same time, technically. That's like where I feel like successful and always have something going on, means you are uh, doing well and uh, not always wasting your time for people like they want you to always do and it's important to always improve yourself and be doing great with things but beyond that his dog is really violent a couple of fluffy dogs richer dogs uh, came in and he went around towards them started biting at them was killing them but i grabbed him back uh, got him after that like he was biting at them finally got him and uh had to hold him. They they stood back up and finally they came back into the park and went through down to the trail area. And I was like, damn, you didn't record that. You were recording other times, but you did not get that. And I was like, pretend it didn't happen. Pretend it didn't happen because trusted house centers won't damn care in the slightest. Uh, they won't take your word for it. Even though it's a Labrador and I grew up on a farm with them, one of those for a few years and... <laughs> They are vicious dogs. Like they're like dogs like Labradors and pit bulls just shouldn't be allowed on this website based on their guidelines and what I see them describing. And just they don't care. They're not gonna do anything. Even with the proof we have from from Samantha's place, they're not gonna do a damn thing. Probably maybe <laughs> other than a warning maybe. And then, uh this is what made us get out of the park. A girl came in with her dad. You can't watch and hear us, I believe, from door, door ring because he was all sarcastic and said, Ah, oh, thanks for the door ring. You can watch and hear us at the door. Yeah, yeah, you literally can watch and hear. And uh, he knows uh, how many times you go inside or not, and based on mm -hmm. the do uh, doors. Yeah, door makes noise. He knows when you go in and out of his house. He knows when and who's ringing the doorbell. He knows every single thing. And it's really toxic and just cringe with his place in general. So, to finish up the what happened before, yeah, it's horrible. I'm just in shock how bad this person is. A girl comes in, like maybe five to seven years old with her, maybe like seven or eight, I don't know, with her dad. And her dad's more like a weaker person, because he was nicer about things and chilled back. And it's probably why his daughter's like this in some ways, not like good in general. I saw often weak parents always resolve in bad people so much. And not always, but it's really often. It's like, you know, good times create bad people, and that cycle, as you know. And she just looked and was like, ah, there's no dogs allowed in the park. And then he's like, no, no, they're they're just playing, it's okay. And she's like, but like, she's really already grown up to be a slut, basically. When you see children like this, they're growing up to be literal sluts. Just, I guarantee you that girl's going to be one of the most toxic people you're going to meet. That's like a teacher. Like one of the, one of the people who had issues with in the south of Brazil. It's going to be a teacher, if you don't know that story already. And it's so horrible to see these generation, new generations come, just more toxic people all the time. I can't handle this. It's so horrible. This is why I want AI to take over and doing things, because people are not deserving of, of it, personally. And uh, his, his dad, or her dad went uh, took her over in the park, and we were out just on the grass area, playing. And... Uh, because the owner here said we can do that. So there are some signs up saying that. But I think you're okay to go on the grass. Just not inside the park area. I, especially her British accent. The way she spoke that. It was so just like. Makes you hate her. Like I don't give a damn about this thing. Oh it's a child. No. I saw. There are a lot of ways to read children. And if a child is already displaying signs like that. I never would have done that as a child. Would have been too shy. And like for horrible. I never would have done that to someone I don't even know. What? 
you can already know that certain children are going to grow up to be serial killers almost or like horrible people and freak you and i'm pretty sure that's one of them obviously it's going to be delightful delightful wonderful anyways yeah about that doorbell thing that is this guy's guy issues really reminds me of my my own dad really just controlling and has issues mentally i think he's bipolar i think he like this guy here bipolar seems like has uh, massive control issues and probably abusive because remember his son saying that he vacu was vacuuming wrong and he complained his dad yelled at him and uh, kind of like, uh -huh. and I saw his dad does not like him as much is that I, I this guy Gene here has two two kids a son and a daughter and it looks like he likes his daughter way more such based on the way we saw things here and, and written things and everything by them looks like he treats his son worse and his son's like eh, more about him and his son was immediately even also he was siding with me like, like uh, over how much a bottle of Gucci perfume costs and stuff and uh, just his son seems more intelligent and different definitely than his daughter his daughter was acting really weird I don't know she was like like trying to flirt with me in some way because like you were saying you got really pissed off she laughed so awkwardly and that's usually a big sign that someone's like interested in you yeah, and Really loud, is like it? Like I could hear so. Uh huh. So with the whole house, I was cringing. I was like, I, I think every, I I think, her her brother as well was just like, uh, for a second, and, uh, why are UK people like this? It's like always anyone who moves here as well. Just like that's really cringe. How much he's monitoring this house. You can't go in or out or anything. No, he right, sees out the front. So yeah, so just... It's almost better if you just go outside that back. Side door and go to the right. I think you can't see with the camera. I think it's better. Yeah, especially uh, letting him know if we were going out or not. That means that Samantha was also monitoring us through her front camera door. Because I think she had a camera too on there. I think all these people are the same. Yeah, like we were saying, I got sicker and kids get way sicker from other kids playing. Kids are like more filthy than dogs, from what I know, yeah, with bacteria. Like uh -huh. they, they're, they're they're so crazy. gross and I would get so sick almost die as a kid if I went in areas where kids played and dogs would not do this to me calf feces and urine were way worse but dogs like this this is absurd they they treat dogs like gods and humans most of the time in certain ways they're treating them like dogs again like these people are so cringe in the UK it's so horrible. I hated anyone in America who does. I'd freak out on them too. It is like you decide, man. Like decide. Really. Then you know what I'm gonna reply to him about. But yeah, he he does not like you, as you said. I can see he really dislikes you. Like you said, he he's probably secretly gay because he's like making fun of them almost being like against gay people no, when he was. He was so bad at speaking about LGBT people. Myself, the I am not. Like, I guess they're just, like, uh, far away from it. You don't like, like, people bragging or marching and praising all that. Okay, like, I got it. That's fair enough. But he's, like, really attacking, criticizing them. And I feel like people yeah. like that can almost, almost be hiding something. Because I heard his voice. It's really high. It sounds like a gay person's voice. And, like, almost always, when you hear a guy with a higher-pitched voice, less testosterone, because this will make your voice deep. And he definitely be hiding because it really was acting weird showing me stuff too like almost like he was liking me as well like I get yeah, I'm an attractive guy and his daughter is acting weird he's acting weird even in some ways and people can often like criticize or do stuff like that when they're scared about something I I've always seen this a lot oh don't forget to say about their letter that his daughter left his cringe the way they speak because uh, she puts her name in it, and then she say, your daughter. It's cringe. Why well, you need to say that? We need to do that. But everything I saw here a bunch is cringe. Like, so much crap here is cringe. Like, ugh. I don't know. I, I just... People are probably not going to understand or agree with, with what you're saying, or like, what I'm even speaking to so much, I think, in some ways. But I think it, it's cringe. You should video, like, uh, for a group of people who pays monthly and uh, support you. <laughs> Yeah. And now I'm put it like a online or too visible to people. Because people have issues like, like just too many toxic people is the problem. I may not even want to go through that front door anymore with the way it's monitored. I feel really cringe and disturbed. I think when people monitor so much, the UK is monitoring since really like China here. They monitor you on the highways driving, especially near Birmingham. There's a horrible amount of speed cameras. We're maybe toxic city.
I've seen here. And just people's houses are so, like, they're always monitoring you. You don't get any privacy these days. Thank you for the doorbell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel so cringe. I, I'm so tired of these people. Okay, that's it. I'm going to keep adding my two vlogs a day and trying to get caught up here. And uh, wait for a package to come. I just, I want us to make money and just get out of a place like this. I'm so long that I ever talk. And even like speaking everything to them and they still come here if I have a friend like that. Uh, I'm just like, I never speak with yeah, them. Yeah, no, I'm just going to stop speaking with them. Like, bro, you're not smart. And I want smart people in my life. People actually understand objectively that something's not good. Like, especially watching your vlogs and all. And seeing everything. Yeah, exactly. Like, like still wanting to go and live in the south of Brazil, despite what I'm saying as well. Like, about that. Okay. Good luck. Go live. Good, good luck. And people are just, like, same thing, ignoring you about sleep and all your health, food poisoning, all this. Same types of people who would agree on all this. Right? And I'm like, okay, go do what you want. If you want to die 20 years sooner, go ahead. It's on you. It's on you. That's truly how it goes. But I'm not going to be friends with people because when you're friends with people who are less intelligent than you, they're going to drag you down. And when you are friends with people who are more intelligent than you, it's going to pull you up. So that's what I always aim to do and I encourage you as well. So that's it for now. Uh, if that's everything. Okay. I just... Oh, I feel so cringe. I told, I told everything. Yeah. I feel so cringe. Every, that doorbell thing, no. Water, hot water, door. Everything's monitoring, controlled wirelessly. His own hot water, door, but everything. It's so cringe. Uh, I'm not, not well mentally here. I just want to say this real quick again. I, I know I kind of like said it, but just fully processed. He was spying on us through that camera in the front door while we were speaking and talking and everything. That's like horrible. And it's okay because it's outside the house on, on the website. It's okay. It's just like don't say anything around that. It's so cringe, so much. Oh, try to say something, gonna be kicked out. Mm -hmm. Put his dog in a kennel. They're so invasive. They're they're worse than cockroaches. He doesn't even flush his this toilet. By the way, I went to clean today. It's so disgusting. Yeah, it's it's so. Like, it looks like by bar to toilets. That's how we call in Brazil. It doesn't clean. It's just like still peeing and everything. You said you had to flush yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, anyways, uh, I just can't believe people are always spying on us. It's like more common, more common. I, I don't understand what's going on here. Like, we need to be careful about the places we're picking here. Yeah, that also wasn't specified. Uh, he misspelled her name, as all the bad people always do, with putting the l l wrong letter at the end. And this always is what bad people do. We've always seen that. Because they don't take time to properly see your name. They misspell your name. Like... That means they're assholes. They don't think about what they're doing, or if they're. That means they don't show respect. It's as simple as that, and that's not a good sign for a place like this. We should have canceled on him, but just really difficult when it came up to the time like that. Okay, good morning. Update real quick. Just woke up a bit ago, um, and we felt so horrible, especially me, because I had two burritos yesterday. And she had one. And it's because it has some meat in it that we purchased. Every time we eat any this, this mince, like, ground uh, sheep, it is so horrible in this country. Same when we eat meat and some stuff, uh, any chickens and stuff from the store called Iceland here. Apparently these stores like that and Asda and uh, a few other stores like Tesco, I think, are getting their meat from countries. I don't know if it's Poland, some, some place in Europe. Where they're not doing things properly with the bags and other things and uh, causing issues with the meat. Either way, I don't know if it's just that, but it feels like it's food poison. I have such a massive infection with the all crap I'm spitting up and I feel so horrible. Fuck, I was like half dead while trying to wake up sleeping so like like last night. And I would not sleep while weird dreams and just... I feel so lethargic and rough right now to go out and like, walk the dog or do anything or edit more vlogs like out of the call with the guy for the business in, in about an hour or so. It's horrible. This country, like, it's, it's like a frozen ground lamb. Like, I can't eat anything here essentially. I feel so horrible. I wasn't like this in the US if I recall, at least not to this extent. And this is not un livable. This country is so food poisoned everywhere you go. It's not normal to feel like this when you die. And I know it's that because we both feel that way after just eating that. 
and it's just so miserable. I I really wish these things could be tested to prove that what we're saying is correct because I know people often feel so horrible like this, so much like this, and they don't know what's going on. They don't. I saw some people in the US complain about this, and it's like, it's something you're eating, most likely, dude. <laughs> something is poisoning you. I know when I grew stuff on the farm, or I ate uh, farm raised meat and all that, I never had issues like this, from what I recall. Ever, or when I went hunting to go get my own meat. Never. It was when I buy stuff, any meat, or anything from the store. I always have these issues, and it's so horrible. I feel so bad right now. This is. Uh, I just. Nothing is regulated. I don't know how this crap is legal. I don't understand this. I really am not liking this country at all. I just remembered as well. I've been having pains like from here shooting up here to here last night and I just realizing that and I hurt my my hurt my back like my spine back here towards my upper back a little bit just stretching a little bit like normal and uh, I, she probably bumped me at all uh, yesterday, and it was excruciating pain. And I woke up now with my lungs hurting my back left side, because I feel it's where my lungs are, and I feel like infections attacking my body as well. Your body gives you signs of everything, so I need to be careful, because I feel worse than her, because I ate two times as much. It's uh, alarm to wake up there. That and, uh, I don't remember if I, I mentioned, like, the woman review. I need to post a review showing that. I, I don't think I did. I don't, I don't remember. I need to do that. She was just saying, like, I was talking about the camera and what about the government monitoring, like, trying to call me out as a crazy conspiracy theorist when it's actually factual. Like, Edward Snowden, people like from the government went out and risked everything in their lives and essentially they have to go hide in Russia now. Just to show and prove this, and not only that, but hackers wise, I told her uh, that governments and hackers can both use the cameras to look in on you and shouldn't always have them watching you, for example. And she completely just avoided all that and said that I was talking about governments watching me because uh, that's why I didn't want the camera and all that. And she just tries to cherry pick the parts and make me look like a crazy person and say a bunch of lies about me and these are so many of the people in the UK I've met I, I think if the world is truly this bad then honestly most of it needs destroyed and like rebuilt and maybe artificial con intelligence could like help with like reprogramming and fixing things but right now if this is how most people are dude this world is about, like done it's messed up and I don't even know how fixable this is right now one last thing, I was just remembering that we had a bigger meal, some rice and uh, broccoli, a couple of things there, whole plate of, of uh, what seems to be decent food, and we, I just felt unwell after that, and not, not good in general, and I realized we feel better after eating like a sack of chips here than actual food, and this is insane, this country is not livable, and I think a bunch of people here just are used to feeling horrible from different things they eat maybe or their bodies are adapted somewhere because they grew up with it but they're being poisoned they don't know it because it's a lot of people in the u.s doing the same thing even i was doing that some in the u.s and feeling so horrible sometimes not understanding what was making me feel like that now i understand more and more it's food and what you're consuming so much i just i'm in shock of how many people are going to try to deny what i'm saying as well it's it's absurd but I think almost just living on chips temporarily is healthy. At least sometimes than eating normal food in this country. I can't believe I'm saying that because they don't make me feel well either. But to this extent, no, I don't think this they, they've made me feel like this before. Okay, so uh, we had the call earlier, and turns out you actually do this. A guy on YouTube, I think, got it for free because he's some of a small YouTuber, but well, he's charging $3,800 and need a couple more thousand dollars for marketing, so just no way we can do this. Like, we either do this on our own or we're on the streets, that's it. I half expected something similar to you, and we know it's when people never include the price, it's because it's too high or scare people, like several thousand dollars, so. Um, yeah, four thousand dollars is just too much for us. We can't, can't be doing that, like, any time almost, like. That's 
too much, it'd be better if he helped you create a good store and then took percentage of what your store made. It's like, that'd be smarter. Make him more money even as well. Maybe he does that on top of it. I don't know. But if he does that to, like, filter out people, then sorry, filtering out anyone uh, who might have less money but still a lot of potential because there are people who have a lot of potential who don't have money. <sighs> they got a lot of potential and they don't have money and it's just... It's rough, so we're gonna have to do this on our own, no matter what. Besides this, uh, for the business, I had random issues already happening against my editing software, and it just took out the the rendering preset I have saved. And I never did that. It's so many things that are always trying to attack me. I feel like doing these vlogs to stop me and prevent me or cause issues, and it's absurd. Finally, went I couldn't find anyone. And finally, I went back to YouTube, got everything. Uh, sort of the way it was, like, uh, look up the, the original video, I finally found it, and went back to a specific area that's, uh, it's hard to find exact presets, like, relatively complicated, and I, I finally end up finding mine somewhere in there again, so, somehow, that happened, and randomly the mouse will control itself as well, I don't know if it's the mouse having sensitivity issues with, like, the laser, because it's cheap, and it was from Poland, uh, or if someone's actually trying to like halfway hack into the computer sometimes because uh, it really does feel like like people are hacking to, anytime you connect to Wi-Fi it feels like people are trying to hack in your device and it's almost good to like completely do a factory reset and reinstall an operating system every month or, or more even and uh, it's it's like I'm not insane like I've talked to uh, people and uh, they have like a brand new phone and they, they know a lot about this field, way more than I do, for example. And they would say, yeah, well, I've been connected one time to the internet on your phone uh, down one, one of the main uh, interstates there. They said, I can't remember where they were, they said, somewhere in the U.S. They're like, yeah, already someone's trying to get into my phone doing crap. And it's like so often people try to start tracking your data or follow you or stalk or all that. It's like... It is worse than people understand how common this is. I was just looking uh, back editing, I think it's vlog number 16 now, and I'm doing two a day trying to. It's rendering now, thankfully, fun, I got that figured out. Uh, it would be so much less stressful after I get all these 50 done, over 50. Just seeing how bad Airbnb was again in the south, and they didn't want to give me a refund, how much I thought. Like, I'm going to hopefully show the messages I sent Airbnb in one of the vlogs there. I'll probably show. Uh, like by copying and pasting sing them down uh, in the description showing the stuff I'd send Airbnb or like trying some way I don't know if I can put it in the video even but like Airbnb needs exposed for how bad they are and how they're supporting these these people they really need exposed because this is unacceptable and just rough it feels like I'm I I feel like I am talking to people right now but not as not not so much because I have to post like 50 videos or more before I even get this one out to people. So, I need to really get going on this and hopefully people watch and are interested in all that. Think about editing out some parts and different videos almost just like to not have so much negativity from people even though it's like things are truthful. It's like, it depends. How much do you want people to censor you? Like bad people who don't know what they're talking about and causing the world to be what it is today, for example. I'm gonna go take care of the dog now that it's rendering and I'm waiting on that finally. So, uh, I'm just working non-stop, but hey, at least we done, I can go back to other important things because I would like to back the health, working out again, getting more muscle again, and uh, just being better, doing more stretches, being more flexible, because be flexible to avoid injuries and all that stuff in your body because, uh, Back when I was more a couple of years ago, I, there were several times I avoided really hurting and pulling a muscle because I was more flexible. It's like I slipped or did the wrong movement, and, uh, my muscles were not uh, too tight. So I, I think that's something people should really focus on doing. Definitely it takes a lot of patience and time, and not easy, and it, it's painful. Definitely painful uh, in some ways. It really depends on how fast you want to go with it, but. No, careful, you can rip something, so I'll, I'll get things going no matter what. I'm on my way. I'm going to be hitting vlog number 20 done finally here soon. So it took me so many hours trying to do original vlogs, uh, a couple of them, the first ones, because it would be like all mirrored, then it would unmirror. And it's after I switched every single clip and went back and just like, also when I wasn't knowing what I was doing as much as well and just trying to get back and remembering how things were. 
and it's a nightmare. It was truly a nightmare. The first few vlogs I did is probably as difficult as 20 or something, I would say. And Paul and I have been working hours a day figuring things out. And, uh, anyways, finally, uh, things are, are going. And I got the computer screen fixed, and yeah, things are on their way. But, uh, yeah, it's it's crazy. This country is crazy, dude. Anyways, um, I guess that's it for now. I'll probably come back here in a minute to update. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Actually, I just went through all the videos and checked. I'm long overdue. It's 37 minutes for this vlog. Real quick, just to show you an example of like what's going on. I'm editing this. I wanted to to fin I put this in before I finish. You have some videos like this. I'm going to undo it here. This is how it was. So I hate Xiaomi because certain videos will just be normal. And then randomly, a video like this in the middle will be all cut. So normally I'd lay my videos out just like this. But instead, because it's Xiaomi, I have to record all the videos in the one clip. Then put them in here and then cut them apart again. So now I have 11 videos. And then just random and watching the playback, one of them like this will be randomly backwards. I think this is my second one I found so far. And is this one? Yes, this one's also randomly backwards. And if I go through here, again, you can see that one's not backwards. And this one's also not backwards. And that one's... Is that one backwards? Yeah, I think that one's backwards as well, it looks like. And then this one. Which I have now confirmed through going through this here, actually, in the bigger screen. That is backwards as well. So you can see, this is just more work than it should ever be. And starting off vlogging and editing like this. Not cool. Yes, show me is responsible for this and it just glitches out as well after some time of using it it's just horrible and i think huawei also has having issues already breaking in the store that uh, when i was using the test like it never starts with iphone or or samsung and overall samsung looks like it wins by far uh, i would not buy xiaomi again this is ridiculous how much more work this bought me for for 30 vlogs in total at least so i switched to the iphone Oh, and one last thing I forgot to mention. I also have to ungroup these by hitting U, and then I have to move this over to the right slightly because the audio and video are always slightly off after I'm done recording for some reason on top of everything else. There's more work to show me as cause for me in total. So I'm always moving it to the right on top, which tells me that I think my mouth is always lagging behind the what I'm saying. So I slide it up to be on the same timeline, then it's caught up because I was editing my first video and I was almost going to go through with it somehow, but I decided not to because it'd be so horrible. And I just decided to re-edit every single clip because I found out there's no other way to actually move all of them. I had to manually do each one, I think, because of this version as well. It was just pure hell and uh, not fun doing the first one, like all kinds of things back in Poland going through with that. Uh, I'm just happy that's over with and I can get ahead and, and go on and actually uh, get this done properly because this has been horrible and th this is my face basically going through all this the entire time. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to cut this down to but probably it's pretty long and both of them like the last one maybe it could be an hour and this one's almost 40 minutes so I'm going to do the outro and start a brand new vlog here coming up. And I think this will be vlog number 55 concluded, if I recall. Uh, it's a lot. Hopefully I can catch up in time. Thank you so much for watching. Let um, me you know what you thought down below. And I would love to be able to change so much. Like thinking like vlog number 100. I could go out and do something big and great. Like we're financially free and not enslaved. And like, enslaved so much anymore the way... Things are, I say so much, because you're still controlled by uh, larger groups, such as uh, countries, governments, uh, authoritative forces, police forces, military, anything, although those are all right, controlled and handed uh, instructions by governments in the end, like that, more so. More free than I would be now, a century at least, but never truly free, just able to always have a house and food and water, as long as you and do things properly. The only time you're more free is like, you can do what the hell you want more if you're like working up inside the government and you can start doing like whatever the frick you want. Basically from what I saw, all kinds of illegal crap they do. Uh, delightful, very delightful. 
It's crazy. That's probably why people go up and, and work in there. I always saw people, like in families, uh, and people I talked to here about were uh, very weird people. They tend to work higher up in governments at all. And uh, I suppose that's why, maybe why people like Edward Snowden had to like just leave and get out and, and speak about what's happening. Because if you're good at all, you cannot be a part of that. Just can't. So... Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm ending the vlog. Maybe we'll be free by vlog 100. Maybe I'll like, go buy something cool. That'd be wonderful. Maybe for my birthday coming up next year, would be nice to go do something uh, nice. Very, very different than what we're going through now. It'd be great. So, that's it for now. Thank you, and I'll see you. I think in vlog number 56 coming up. And uh, that's all for now. Um, thank you uh, very much for being here. I appreciate it. And... I I hope we can change things to become better and not just always have negative things all the time. I want to change things to be better any way I can. Uh, even if it's only a little bit, it's still a change and in, in something I can do. And I hope you feel the same way. So that's all. And I will see you coming up.